Hey, it's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would become one. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And if you like the video, at the end of the video, just click the like button if you would. I want to talk to you today about bouncing out multiple mix stems at one time in Pro Tools 2020. Now this only works in this version. Prior versions, it, this does not work. You'll have to do it the old fashioned way. So let's jump right into it. So what I have done here already, I have a few of the aux groups or drum buses, guitar bus, vocal bus that are already set up down here. But let's jump over to a couple other buses that I need to send over there. So what I want to do is take the background vocal aux group here. So I'm going to click on that, you know, right click. Then I'm going to come down here to convert aux to routing folder. So I'm going to take that and then put it down here by the other ones now that that's switched over. And then I'm going to come down here to the acoustic guitars. I'm going to right click that and do the same thing convert aux to routing folder. Okay, now that one did not change colors. And to keep them all the same, I'm gonna make it the same color as the other ones. So now that I have all of these ready to go for sending out to multiple mixed stems, I'm gonna select them all by selecting this one and then this one so I'm going to right click all of the aux groups here. I'm going to come to bounce. Okay, I want to make sure the title is what I want it to be. And we will go stronger 2020 stems. And then I'm going to make sure that the automation is checked because I want the automation to be intact with that mixed with those mixed stems. And then file format interleaved because we're sending out a stereo file and not mono files. And then bit depth we'll keep there and sample rate we'll keep the same as the song. And I'm going to just send them to the desktop for easy finding right now. Make sure offline is checked so it will go quick. And then I'm gonna click bounce. And waiting for that to finish bouncing. So what this is doing is basically taking each individual group and bouncing each of those out as a stem for whatever you need the stems for. And here are those five mixed stems that I bounced out of our session. So what I want to do is come over here. What I want to do is move these over to the edge here. And I'm going to come down to the last file here. And then I'm going to drag all of these right into the session. And you can see it's filling in there. We'll just double check to make sure we have what we have. So what I want to do is just take a quick listen and make sure we have all the information. So here's the drum bus that we sent out. And here's where the loop starts. Let's just start it there. Here's where the drums come in. Okay, that sounds good. Here's the acoustic guitars. That sounds good. Here's the electric guitars. You've been thrown here's the vocals. down and tossed aside, but you here's been the background vocals. Back of lies, cause you're stronger than you might think. Perfect, we have them all. Now we can send them to the mastering person, or we can send them to the band that uh, maybe wants the, those for um, some additional tracks for their live performances. So or whatever else that uh, someone would want the mix stems for. So this is Fergie saying thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't subscribed yet, again, I would love it if you would subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.